Except for a few Bronco videos, my video uploads have been very, very sparse lately, and I know that. I think I hit just a little bit of burnout, and I wanna talk about that for a second. So there was some family stuff that I had to deal with. So literally by the end of the week, sometimes when it came time to do videos, I just really didn't have the energy or there wasn't a scenario where it made sense to do a video. Now, keep in mind, I have two channels. I have Ricky Rocket's Legend Tripping, which is my channel, my spooky channel, all about urban legends and stuff like that. And then I have the Poison Drummer, which is kind of just my lifestyle channel. Uh, I've had Ricky Rocket's Legend Tripping a lot longer than the Poison Drummer. Uh, and I try to, you know, some people, it's a full-time job just with one channel. But this isn't my job, which brings me to the whole burnout thing. A lot of YouTubers have burned out trying to keep up with the demand. I don't really have much of a demand, except that when you don't upload regularly, YouTube just kind of doesn't push your videos. If you look at the statistics of my videos that have done the best, the two that seem to generate the most views are true crime, which is, I don't do that much on my legend tripping channel, although a lot of legends are based on true crime, but like the full on like Ed Gaines and stuff, they're the ones that seem to get a lot of hits. And the other analog that seems to come up is stuff to do with drums or just poison. Now, <laughs> I started this YouTube channel because I wanna share my hobbies. My hobbies are everything from, you know, dirt bikes, regular motorcycles, and I'm gonna talk more about motorcycles in a minute. You know, I mean, even like 3D printing over here, I've been doing some of that. A lot of things that I wanna share that are hobby stuff. You know, one of my biggest videos was when I left Drum Workshop. Another video that was huge was when my wife TC got a tattoo. Uh, those are subjects that just ping a lot of hits. And I don't mind doing those videos. I, I can't do a tattoo video all the time. As far as uh, true crime, sure, I could do some true crime. As far as drums go, you know, it's my job. That's the thing. It's not my hobby, focus, and it is my job. It's what I do for a living. Uh, that doesn't mean I won't do it. Like, and there's another thing, like I just 3D printed a drum. I got the wrong size lug. So as soon as I get the right size ones, I'm gonna do that build and I'm gonna play it for you. I don't need drums, but I, I just wanted to take on the challenge, right? This year, there is no Poison tour. Brett's doing this party girl thing. And so Poison is not gonna tour. But there's a couple of cool things that are coming up. One of the things that I'm gonna play at is the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. And that is a ride that takes place in 160 cities, something, some crazy amount of cities across the world, basically simultaneously. I'm one of the city co-hosts uh, this year and I'm in charge of the music. So we're gonna have music there in the morning and music in the afternoon when everybody gets back from the ride and it raises money for prostate cancer research. So this year, gonna be doing some music. And it looks like it's gonna be a couple of the guys from Chevy Metal and Brandon Gibbs from Devil City Angels, so Chevy Devils, I don't know. So and then we'll have some guests. It'll be a blast. Uh, I can't wait to do it. And by the way, that's Sunday the 19th of May. Sunday the 19th of May, Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Gotta check it out. There's one probably in your city, almost every city in the nation, every major city, and even some that aren't major. There is a ride and go do it, it's fun. You dress up, dress dapper, and uh, it's for a great cause. So a couple of the other things that are coming on my channel, on this channel, The Poison Drummer, I'm going to be doing more motorcycle reviews. I've been asked by Dave at Ken and Joe's to review two of the new Royal Enfield motorcycles. One is the Continental and one's the Himalayan. And a lot of people will be like, you're not gonna like them because they're underpowered. I think I'm gonna like them because they're underpowered. I think it'll be kind of fun. I did one on the KLR, which some people say are, is underpowered. It's not, it just is what it is. And I think these bikes are what they are. And I think they're gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and they're low buck bikes. They're really, really cool. It's the fastest 
growing motorcycle company in the world right now, Royal Enfield. So it's going to be fun. It's just going to be fun to, to ride them around and do a review. One is a road bike and one is more of a adventure bike. So we got that. Lauren from TAPS, uh, who's been my cohort and a lot of videos on the Legend Tripping channel, we're going up with TAPS and we're doing something at the Winchester house. And if you don't know what the Winchester house is, it was a house that was built by, yes, you guessed it, the guy that invented the Winchester rifle. When he passed away, his wife was told by a psychic that she has to keep building onto that house. So now you have a house that over 30 some years of construction has steps going in the walls and doors opening to nowhere. And uh, it is really a crazy house. So many urban legends and so many ghost stories. I can't wait to do that. That's next month. I am going to focus on legend tripping more. I love urban legends and I'm not going to let up on that. Anyway, make sure to subscribe to both channels, both the Poison Drummer, this one, and Ricky Rocket's Legend Tripping, because I upload to both channels. Thumbs up, smash the like button because it forces that algorithm to go up and then I go higher. And I think that's what you want for me, <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys tell me in the comments section what other stuff you would like to see me cover, just whatever. Let me know. Take care of each other and keep rock alive.